Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to discuss my wash day routine or how I take care of my hair after a protective style. And I'm emphasizing protective style here because after we take down our hair, especially depending on how long we had our hair braided, our poor 4 c hair can be really matted and super dry. So I'm going to discuss how I bring her back to health, bring her back to proper moisture levels. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Before we get started though, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every single time your girl uploads a new video. Also follow me on Instagram because we are upping our IG game this year and you don't wanna miss it. My wash day routine consists of four steps, which I've discussed before, but we're gonna go through them in this video. It is pre-poo, shampoo, dip conditioning, moisturize, and seal. So these steps, I'm still going to carry it into this video, but I'm going to modify it a little bit just because my hair was protected and in a protective style for a month. And I also didn't moisturize her, so I need to be careful. So if you're like me, your hair is extremely dry by the time you take down your protective style. And we all say we want to moisturize our hair while it's braided, we want to care for her while it's braided, but it's so easy to ignore our hair when it's braided. It's kind of like one of the dangers of protective styling. So this is why I really want to make sure that I take care of my hair when I take it out of the style. Just give her the proper tender loving care that she needs before i braid it again and i'm saying this because i'm in a protective style challenge right now so if you want to know all the details on that i will put them down below i had my passion twist in for exactly a month however i went to mexico i was at the beach i was out and about i really did not moisturize my hair so my job started before i even took down my hair i actually did a little strand test so i took out one twist and my hair was so dry so I knew that I had to be careful all right so today is the day that we tackle this task of finally taking care of our hair and you know what I'm ready for what's to come I'm ready to spend time with her I have nothing on the agenda for today and tomorrow I'm totally lying I have a lot to do but I am determined to take the time to take care of my hair she is extremely dry. I've had the passion twist in for over a month. Yesterday was actually a full month since I had my passion twist. I am going to be using a little bit of the scalp spray. I'm using it before I take my braids out. It kind of makes no sense, but I know how dry my hair is under this. I can feel it. It feels crunchy. So I want to get some moisture into my hair first before I take down the twist. Plus, I do feel like my hair has married the fake hair as if, you know, they were dating. I wasn't aware anybody was dating in my hair, but apparently there's a bunch of marriages up there. So I need to loosen up my hair first before I, you know, start taking it down. I can tell that if I just go in, start taking my hair down, I will get a lot of breakage and I'm trying to prevent that. I'm just going to mention that I'm not trying to save anything. I'm not trying to save the rubber bands. I'm not trying to save the hair. It's all going to get thrown out. I mean, I should be careful before cutting anything. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. I have a knot already. Ah, oh, there we go. See, this is going to come in so handy for when my hair gets matted I can really try to loosen it up with the scalp solution and you can use anything at home you don't need to use this thing it's not even made for the purpose I'm using it for it's made more for hair growth and taking care of your scalp but I'm using it as a spritz you can make your own take a little bit of water add a little bit of leave-in conditioner in there some oils and there you go bam you have your own homemade spritz we don't need to buy everything first twist is out and i'm not bald under this <laughs> after i take down a section of hair i not only spritz it with some more water slash aloe vera juice i also followed with a scalp solution but this is also not made for the purpose i'm using it but the reason why i use it is to moisturize my hair it's a moisturizing product we're gonna use to moisturize our hair 
once that's in I follow up with an oil this is where my pre poo starts when I do my hair on a regular basis I typically pre poo with an oil the oil that I ended up using is almond oil and I'm using it to seal in the moisture that I just added in my hair one but to also prep my hair for the shampoo step of course, you don't need to use specific products in this step. I think that you can get away with just using water. Just spritz your hair with some water and then follow up with the oil. The water is going to soften your hair. It's going to prevent breakage as you're taking down your braids. And then the oil is going to coat your hair so that when you do get into the shower, your shampoo is not going to strip your hair, especially if your hair is dry. I have naturally super dry hair, so pre poo is really important for me, especially when I'm coming out of a protective style so by the time I'm done taking down the twist my hair is one in section and two coated with an oil the reason why I want to emphasize this is because when coming out of a protective style I highly recommend that you work in sections it's less overwhelming for you and it's less stress on your hair we can get pretty frustrated when we're taking care of our hair and it's super dry it's super matted it's taking longer I know for sure for me I can get really frustrated and start ripping my hair out so working in sections really prevent me from getting frustrated and also it makes the task a little less daunting I also would advise not just taking all of your hair out and leaving it all out before you start let's say sectioning and then putting an oil as you take down a few twists might as well just you know twist that up at the very least and put your hair in sections because when your hair is coming out of the protective style I personally think that it's in a fragile state especially if you've been ignoring her like me your hair is a little bit dry your hair is fragile so leaving your hair out just take it all out can create more matting than necessary your hair is already matted you want to make the situation worse another reason why i think you should work in section when you are going through your hair after a protective style is to remove shedded hair mind you your hair has been in protective style for a month you have a lot of accumulated shedded hair that i personally think you need to take out of your hair before you hop in the shower wetting your hair and shampooing and deep conditioning and all that good stuff the reason being for me the shedded hair stays in your hair it just gets more matted and then when it comes down to detangling your hair you will have a hard time so removing the shedded hair before you even hop in the shower is really important for me and I think you should try it too so using an oil really helps create more slip into my hair so I can slide the shedded hair out don't be so alarmed because naturally we shed okay it's okay to shed don't get so concerned about it at this stage as long as your hair is not breaking you should be fine you are going to have a ton of shedded hair because you haven't detangled your hair in over a month all right so we are done this hair is back oh my god i missed her i do have a pile of shedded hair that i wanted to show you because you guys freak out every single time one strand of hair falls off your head and I'm here to let you know that shedding is natural okay it's normal this is how much hair came out that's just you know from me finger combing my hair removing the shedded hair that's how much came out there is still hair that's going to come out when I wash and thoroughly detangle but this is what we're working with so far because my hair already have oil in it I'm basically ready to pre poo so I'm just going to cover her up with a plastic bag but before I do that I do want to hit my scalp one time I realized I should have done this when I was actually you know removing my hair but one thing at a time we're gonna go in with the scalp solution the scalp stimulating mask this is what we're gonna use especially for my edges I really want to make sure that I'm taking care of them because you know I really haven't been taking care of them <laughs> nothing crazy just quickly get in there massage it in and that's about it especially now that my scalp is really like dirty and gunky this is the perfect time to to do this and I really like this one it makes my scalp feel really nice and it just makes my hair in general really soft so I like using this before I hop in the shower before I wash my hair and if it's going to grow these edges Hmm. I'm all for that. All done. I'm gonna use a good old plastic bag. And that's it. I'm just going to let that sit. 
So once you take out the shedded hair, put your hair in twist, you are ready to shampoo. Shampooing your hair is important to really clean your scalp. If you've been in a protective style for a month like I have, then your scalp is quite dirty. And given that I was in Cancun, I was at the beach, there was sand in my hair, my scalp was gross. It was disgusting. So I knew I really needed to go in and use a shampoo to clean my hair and my scalp. The shampoo that I chose to use is the 4C only shampoo. That's because it's a pretty effective shampoo that doesn't strip my hair too, too much. Of course, you can use any shampoo of your liking. Keep in mind that the purpose of washing your hair at this stage is to wash your scalp thoroughly and also wash your strands. I typically never shampoo my hair twice. That's because my hair is super dry and I find that shampooing my hair twice just really strips it a little bit too much for my liking. My hair gets really dry and matted. So I like to make sure that the first time around I am very thorough, I go through my scalp, I massage my scalp, I drag the shampoo onto my strands and really get my scalp and my hair clean. When I'm washing my hair, if I'm not, you know, in a protective style or my weekly routine be i'm never that thorough with really bringing the shampoo down the strands of my hair but if i'm coming out of a protective style girl we need to get everything washed everything needs to be cleaned when you're shampooing your hair and as you notice here i am making sure that i really get the water into my hair i soak my hair with water one my hair has been really dry water is the number one moisturizer and two, the water is actually going to help soften my hair. So I make sure that my hair is thoroughly wet. I'm not just hopping in the shower, quickly wetting my hair. No, girl. I need to infuse hydration into my hair. And that hydration is going to come from water. So I make sure I thoroughly saturate my hair. So shampoo is to really clean your scalp and hair. And now we're going to move on to my favorite step, which is dip conditioning. So as you notice, the entire time that I'm going through my routine, when I am pre-pooing, when I'm shampooing, I'm really removing shedded hair. I'm making sure that I can break my hair apart. So as I'm applying the dip conditioner in my hair, I am also taking advantage of the fact that the dip conditioner has a ton of slip to one, remove any shedded hair that are still there. At that stage, you should be pretty good. Most of them should be out but also to really start the detangling process. So right now, I'm making sure that I can separate my hair. I'm going in a lot of different direction, really pushing my finger through my hair so that I can start detangling. I don't wait till the very end because at the end of the day, you haven't detangled your hair in a really long time. And if you're leaving it all for, you know, after you're done washing and dip conditioning, you're gonna have a hard time. Your hair is gonna be extremely matted and you're gonna get frustrated. It's gonna take you a long time. But if you do it bit by bit as you go through your routine, I think that it will keep you sane. At least it keeps me safe. As I dip condition, again, water is key. I'm making sure that my hair is really wet. And as I work the dip conditioner in my hair, I am working in water as well. I try to detangle my hair at that step. I am moisturizing at that step. Once we're done, go ahead and put on like a plastic cap and let the dip conditioner do its thing. So this particular dip conditioner tells you that you don't need to leave it in for a long time. 30 minutes is enough. However, we left it in for a few hours that's what we do so after the few hours are up my hair feels great she's well conditioned she's happy she's halfway detangled so at this point detangling should be a breeze so detangle my hair I'm using the Felicia Leatherwood brush I am so happy to actually get my hand into this brush I've been wanting to use it all last year yeah it's a really good brush I have to tell you that it does not rip my hair out it's not like the tangle teaser it does seem a little intimidating because of all the bristles but they're very gentle and the fact that they separate girl it's a good brush I would recommend it so I'm using this brush to detangle my hair but before I even get into using a brush I am going in with my fingers finger detangling is key finger detangling is your best friend especially when your hair was extremely matted you can feel the knots under your fingers you can tell where your hair is a little bit more matted so you can take your time to really separate your strands finger detangling is the real MVP when it comes to natural hair so take your time to finger detangle first take away the major tangles first 
before proceeding with a brush even if you're using the Felicia Leatherwood brush. You have to be extremely gentle with your hair. I mean, you haven't done your hair in a while, right? So you gotta make sure that you're giving her some love. Once my hair is thoroughly detangled, and at that point, it's super easy to do because I have broken down the detangling step all throughout my routine. I'm doing it bit by bit, so when it comes down to action detangling, it's a breeze. My hair is already halfway detangled. I just have to finish it up with a brush, make sure that she's thoroughly detangled. Personally, I try to make sure that my hair is really detangled in between protective styles just because I know I'm gonna get my hair braided again. I don't wanna carry matting onto the next protective style that I have to deal with later. So I make sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled. It's quite satisfying for me, to be honest, using this brush. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> so once you rinse out the dip conditioner, and I do that at the sink, at this point, I don't wanna hop in the shower again. You know, it's late, so I'll do it at the sink. Now it's time to really moisturize your hair. So your hair feels really good after you deep condition, so you wanna make sure that you keep that good feeling, okay? If you don't moisturize and seal, then your hair is going to dry out by the next day. Especially with 4C hair, I think it's important for you to layer your products. Really make sure that you're not just moisturizing your hair, but you are layering it with an oil. So I'm using a leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair. I'm going in with a moisturizing cream and then follow that up with an oil. So technically, I'm following the LCO method. You can use whatever method you like. My personal favorite is the LB method. I'm claiming it. That's the name that I came up with. It's basically leave-in or liquid followed by a butter. I'm fresh out of my Amo Natural butter. It's my favorite butter of all times. So I had to make do and I'm using the LCO method. The moisturizing cream that I'm using is by Moisture Love. It's a new product that I'm using. Pretty good at moisturizing my hair, especially when I use a living conditioner first, the cream, and then an oil. I find that this little trio works very well, but if you wanna skip out a product, you can use a living conditioner and a butter. And then there she is, she is back. That 4C goodness baby, she's back. Oh, she is so moisturized. Nothing makes me happy than having well-conditioned, moisturized hair. It really just brings joy to my heart. She is resting right now. She is under this head wrap. So I'm gonna give my hair a little break before I braid her again. Like I said, I am protective styling for the winter. If you're interested in the challenge, I will leave the information down below. But I'm going to give myself a little break. I'm just going to leave her in the twist. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm leaving my hair in the twist for about a week and then I'll braid my hair again. Typically, I would do a low manipulative style for two weeks before I get my hair braided again. However, my birthday is coming up and your girl's trying to look fly. Just to give you an update, this is how much hair came out after one month of not combing my hair. And that is it. Those are the main core steps in the routine. I would urge anybody out there to use at least these steps. If you don't pre-poo, that's fine, but make sure that you are shampooing, deep conditioning, moisturizing, and sealing your hair every single time you go through your wash day routine. That will make your hair happy and that will make you happy. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you head out. That helps my channel. And also let me know that you like this video so I can create more like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.